This Wednesday, following our live mic'd up show, don't miss our dispatch from the front lines. Fox News comes out, where we reveal to you the deception and deceit going on at the conservative juggernaut Fox News. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. Last week, a court of appeals denied the University of Notre Dame a temporary stay on the HHS mandate requiring employees to be covered for contraceptives, abortifacients, and sterilization. Failure to comply with the law would cost the university fines of $100 per day per employee. But Notre Dame has decided it will comply with the Obama administration's accommodation which provides their employees with the morally offensive coverage in spite of the university's objection. A well-known nationwide atheist group whose members meet on Sundays to gather at a church-like organization called the Sunday Assembly are currently experiencing a denominational split. Two members from the original Sunday Assembly in New York with founders Pippa Evans and Sanderson Jones have left the organization and have created their own called the Godless Revival calling the Sunday Assembly too anti-atheist. A Christian pastor who stepped down from his position after having doubts about his religion's teachings is choosing to try atheism and living for a full year without God. The former Seventh-day Adventist pastor said, quote, For the next 12 months I will live as if there is no God. I will not pray, read the Bible for inspiration, refer to God as the cause of things of, or hope that God might intervene and change my own or someone else's circumstances, end quote. The pastor states that he isn't an atheist just yet and is unsure how exactly to label himself. He'll be sharing his journey on the website yearwithoutgod.com. Pope Francis has abolished the conferral of the pontifical honor of Monsignor on secular priests under the age of 65. The only pontifical honor that will be conferred on secular priests will be that of chaplain to His Holiness, and this will be conferred only on worthy priests who are over the age of 65. Secular priests are priests in a diocese who are not monks or members of religious institutes or orders. Yesterday, Pope Francis announced he will make a pilgrimage to the Holy Land from May 24th through the 26th to mark the 50th anniversary of the historic meeting between Pope Paul VI and the Patriarch Athenagoras I. The meeting helped improve relations between the Catholic and Orthodox churches. Our Holy Father will meet with Bartholomew I, the Orthodox Patriarch of Constantinople, and together they will celebrate an ecumenical meeting at the site of the Holy Sepulchre with representatives of all the Christian churches of Jerusalem. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about the Pope, poverty, and English. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. Hello everyone, Michael Voris here from the very early days of churchmilton.tv as well as those long ago beginnings of our sister organization St. Michael's Media. You know, we've been working tirelessly to bring you the best high quality, highly produced Catholic programming that we can from our studios right here in Ferndale, Michigan, just north of Detroit. In those early days, eight years ago, can you believe it was eight years ago? We were only able to produce just one episode per week of our flagship show, The One True Faith. But by the grace of God, we have now grown in size and ability quite a bit, quite a bit of growth in those eight years. And of course, all of this is thanks to you, our supporters, who have supplied practically our only source of revenue by signing up on our premium channel for only $10 a month. Now, over the years, those $10 subscriptions have really added up, and now we're able to bring you new episodes every single week of not just one, but four different programs, as well as our numerous free productions, and those everybody knows, like the Vortex News, the FBI, the Faith-Based Investigations, the Dispatch Program that we just launched last quarter. Again, this is all because of our ability to expand, thanks to your prayers, and the financial support from many premium subscribers and gracious donors. 
So at the beginning of every new calendar quarter, we bring you a whole new set of programs, all fresh, brand new episodes of brand new programs that we've spent the past three to six months getting together. We take all of that information, all of that planning process, and throw it up on this great big, great big programming work grid. It may be just one sheet of paper, but believe me, it takes weeks to put all this together because of all of the dovetailing and everything that goes on. So for example, we have to do all of the researching. We call that, per that period of researching and writing, that's all pre-production and a lot of activity goes into that. Then we move into production. Production is of course the shooting, what you're seeing right now as a matter of fact. And after all of that, then there is the editing and that's kind of where the magic happens where there's an awful lot of let's all the graphics and music and all of that get put together to make the final product. An awful lot goes into making a TV program. So now as you know, the new programs are designed to keep you and your family growing in knowledge of the faith with the end goal of growing deeper in love with our blessed Lord. We really, really have a great thing going here at churchmilton.tv and we don't want you or your family to miss out on any of it. So let's politely say, listen up. January starts a brand new quarter for us this weekend. And we're happy to present you with our latest slam bam lineup of new programs that Charlie here has helped edit to help sharpen your mind and deepen your love for our Holy Mother, the church. You know, all of our new programs are being posted this Sunday, this Sunday. Wait a minute. I just had kind of an epiphany. Fitting given this time of year, right? You're going to sign up for a premium account on Sunday and get on board with churchmilton.tv, the world's first Catholic TV station solely on the internet. So let's drift over to one of our editor's editing stations here and take a look at some of the new programs we have coming up for you this quarter. First up, Losing My Religion. Father Lewis from the Fathers of Mercy takes us through some of the main reasons why so many Catholics are fleeing the Holy Church at record numbers and how not to succumb to the heretical modernism of our time and lose your religion. Also beginning this quarter, we have Wisdom of the Fathers, a program where my own father, who is very wise, Russ Voris, touches on the lives of the most famous intellectual giants of the early church. People like St. Augustine, St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Gregory the Great, all that and more on Wisdom of the Fathers. Also coming out of the gate this quarter, we have Moral Compass, and this is a really, really cool show. In this program, Simon Rafe and I discuss the moral dilemmas of our own time and how we as Catholics can inform our consciences in light of the church, sacred scripture, and the sacraments. Also, we'll be bringing you our latest conferences and talks on a variety of topics from around the world. And don't forget when you sign up for this churchmilitant.tv premium channel, you get complete access to our full archive of amazing Catholic content. Over 25 programs, some long, some short, but all of them teaching the Orthodox Catholic faith to you and your family and your friends. There's catechesis for adults, catechesis for kids, history shows for adults, history shows for kids, theology classes from priests, philosophy classes from professors, anything you can think of, you'll find right here on the churchmilton.tv premium channel. So please help support our apostolate by signing up for a premium account and we'll continue to bring you these great high quality Catholic productions. We are here for two reasons, the church and you. Help us help the church and help us help you. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.